Mr. Minister and, and ladies and gentlemen, the United States government, USAID, is deeply committed to prosperity and economic development here in Armenia and economic opportunities between the United States and Armenia. And we see the tourism sector as one having great opportunity, as the minister said, as everyone in this room knows, you wouldn't be here if you didn't agree with me on that point. The tourism sector has tremendous potential for entry-level jobs of all sorts, all over the country, rural areas as well as Yerevan, to show off the tremendous cultural, historic, environmental, human capital uh, that this country has and that my wife and I have grown to love in our 18 months here uh, so far. And we've got a lot more time to go. We're not going anywhere. And we're committed to this. U.S. government is committed to this. With the EDMC has a key uh, tourism part of it. The four sectors that the uh, EDMC is working on. One of them is tourism. That's why they're sponsoring this conference today. We launched a couple weeks ago a, a virtual Silk Road uh, funded by the EU and uh, USAID with a great local partner here, the uh, Armenia Monuments Association. So we think there's, we're willing to put our money where our mouth is here to develop tourism in Armenia. But the really critical factor about tourism is that you need people. You need people. People have to come here before the tourism sector, the hotel sector, the restaurants and the tourist sites will succeed. If people can't get here, or it's too expensive to come here, or you have to arrive here at 4 o'clock in the morning and spend two nights on the road to get here, people won't come, no matter how beautiful it is. So there's a huge opportunity here. There's a huge opportunity that Armenia has now to open up the air transport system, open up the air transport sector, so that prices can go down, service can be improved, and that this sector and, and other sectors uh, can flourish. The airport is the one border that Armenia controls. I'm sorry to say that, it's true. We're trying very hard, U.S. and others, trying very hard to get the borders open. It's not Armenia's fault that those borders are not open. The airport is the one border that Armenia controls. The, the, the policy that controls that airport ought to be the most aggressive, the most liberal, the most economically focused policy of all. Liberalize the air transport. Open up every single route to open competition. Lower the prices, improve the service, get the people to come to our media so all of these various tourism <coughs> opportunities and projects can be successful. There are other things that could be done in terms of lowering the price of aviation fuel and, and eliminating some previous non-transparent business arrangements. There's all sorts of things that can be done. But liberalizing the, the flights, opening the air system to this great country and this important transit area. It could also have important benefits in terms of air transit from the Middle East to Moscow and, and to Western Europe. So I think there's some tremendous opportunities here and I know the minister is working very hard on this, and the prime minister and everybody is working very hard on this. And I just want to offer the full support of my government uh, in this effort uh, to, to really take advantage of this tremendous opportunity. Now, why do I say this? Why do I care about this? Is this in U.S. government interest? Is there some U.S. carrier that I'm trying to promote here? I would love to get a couple of U.S. carriers here. I've told the minister I would love to get United here, and Delta, and co-chairs, and see some, see my flag on an aircraft uh, on, uh, at, the, at the airport. But that's not why I say this. That's not what our policy is based on. I would love to get an air, airport here, but the purpose of this is not for U.S. air carriers. The purpose of, of our promoting this policy is because we think it's good for Armenia. It's good for Armenians. It will help Armenia succeed. It will help Armenia uh, become more prosperous. It will create economic opportunities for the Armenian people. And I know that's what the minister is doing. That's what his job is. That's what everybody's job is here. It's job one for the Armenian government. It's job one for 
uh, Armenia's partners, uh, and, and I just want to pledge today, sir, to, to you and to everybody in this room that the U.S. government uh, will do whatever we can uh, to help you uh, in the months ahead as you make difficult decisions uh, on this really critical sector. So uh, thank you. It's already gone so long. Uh, I just felt this was an opportunity to make this statement, uh, and, uh, and I hope uh, that um, we can have some really successful, uh, successful uh, projects together uh, in the months and year to come. Thank you very much.